So, you clicked the tech news video, and now some smug idiot is doing a half-baked bit instead? <laughs> Believe it or not, I get paid to do this. <laughs> I know, I'm as confused as you are. <laughs> Microsoft is turning Windows' infamous blue screen of death into the black screen of death because users have become desensitized to constant issues with their operating system and aren't feeling nearly the level of despair that they should be. Microsoft isn't just changing the color though, they're also streamlining the warning screen so it feels more Windows 11-y while also removing some elements. Now, while normally I love me some minimalism, there are too many things in the world. Windows latest makes a good point. The new black screen doesn't have enough information on it. For example, the frowning face is gone, erasing any hint of how the computer feels about all this. Thankfully, for now, the new screen is only rolling out to Windows Insider builds with a green background instead of black. And who knows if Microsoft will actually go through with this. They did the same thing when Windows 11 first launched, but reversed the change a few months later. In other Windows news, the popular bypass row method for logging in without a Microsoft account has been disabled, although anti-accountists have already found another workaround. And in an actually useful move, the company published a Windows roadmap with information about where upcoming features are in development and when they'll be released. Naturally, it doesn't show the inevitable endpoint where Windows is totally on the cloud and you own nothing, but are happy. But it's there. Some game developers are now recommending that players roll back to an older version of NVIDIA's GPU drivers after reports of issues with RTX 50 series GPUs expanded to affect RTX 30 and 40 series cards as well. In the patch notes for recent game updates, the studios behind primarily hot person generator Inzoi and Therapy Avoidance Simulator, the first berserker, Kazan, warned that gamers using an RTX 40 or 30 series GPU may experience stability issues on NVIDIA's latest driver, 572.83. Instead, they recommend sticking with version 566.36 if you want your gameplay experience to be more made-to-order K-pop stars and less Doki Doki Literature Club. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman claimed on Twitter this morning that ChatGPT added 1 million users in just one hour, as the tool's image generator mania continues unabated. People just can't stop giblifying stuff, including Colton Potter. But he's no stranger to crossing the line. He's the most fired employee in history. Use and abuse of OpenAI's services has gotten so bad it removed the ability for new accounts to generate video using Sora after adding temporary rate limits to ChatGPT's image gen tool earlier this week. Fellow AI company Runway thought this was the perfect time to release their latest video generator, Gen 4, which is apparently extra good at maintaining consistency between different iterations of the same scene. The company calls it a milestone in the development of models that actually understand and reproduce real world physics instead of depicting nonsensical physics and what I assume is a computer's idea of mocking the flesh bags who can't stop asking it for pictures of themselves as a Muppet. The availability of higher fidelity AI video tools is great news for the YouTube channels flooding the platform with fake AI movie trailers that clickbait you into thinking, what, Leo DiCaprio's in the new Squid Game? Death Deadline actually reported on how Hollywood Studios didn't force all of those trailers to be taken down, instead allowing them to rack up ad revenue and then claim it. And now my parents think someone's making a best exotic marigold hotel too. I'm too scared to tell them the truth. But I will tell you about our sponsor. Cook Unity, the first chef to consumer platform delivering freshly prepared pre-selected meals right to your door every week. Take your pick from more than 350 meals created by top chefs from Food Network alums, James Beard Award winners, and acclaimed restaurateurs. Perhaps the shrimp and chorizo paella by chef Jose Garces caught your eye. Or maybe a Moroccan chickpea tagine by chef Lina El Kausi. Or 
Hold on, are you craving the red wine braised short ribs with carrot puree by Chef Marc Forgione? It's okay, you can tell me. Whatever you put on your personal menu, it's gonna be delicious and effortless. Your meals are delivered fully cooked, so all you gotta do is heat them up in as little as two minutes. Can't decide? Cook Unity's happy to select meals for you based on your taste preferences. Save time on the planning, shopping, cooking, and cleanup. Try an easy and affordable way to eat good. Go to cookunity.com slash tech50 or or use our code TECH50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals. Quick Bits! Quick Bits is the opposite of slow bits. Quick Bits is the opposite of talking a lot. Quick Bits is, a, this is a reference. I'm sorry if you don't get it. That's not, I shouldn't have done that to you. <laughs> Despite ASRock addressing the issue last week, reports have continued to pile up from users who've experienced issues or damage with Ryzen 9000 series processors and ASRock motherboards, as documented by this most mega of Reddit mega threads from u slash natty overlord. With recent updates in the last few days, the post now catalogs a handful of affected Ryzen 9 9950X3D processors and 108 dead Ryzen 7 9 800 X3Ds, with 86 of those occurring on ASRock motherboards. But you're right, ASRock, those people all probably gave their CPUs a dirt bath prior to installing or something. Ah, these damn TikTok trends. <laughs> Lenovo has hiked the launch price of the SteamOS version of its Legion Go S, which will be the first official third-party SteamOS-powered gaming handheld when it launches on May 25th. The handheld was announced back at CES with a $500 MSRP, but this week, pre-orders went live, listing the device for $550, despite early testing indicating that the base model $400 Steam Deck may still feature better performance. What possible reason could there be for a tech product manufactured overseas to have a sudden price increase as if some kind of tax was being passed on to consumer? Oh man. German space startup Isar Aerospace held the first test flight for its Spectrum rocket on Sunday and it went pretty well for about 40 seconds. Then it experienced some good old fashioned rapid unscheduled disassembly after flopping over into the Arctic Ocean. As is tradition, the company claimed the destruction of their prototype is a good thing for the lessons they learned along the way. And I can also say that watching a rocket from a company that's not SpaceX explode was a nice change of pace. And April Fool's Day is tomorrow, at least where I am. But some companies have already begun cracking wise, including Razer, who unveiled the Razer Skibbity a headset with a built-in brain rot to normal translator. So you can stop abandoning your very online teammates to go Google whether you're required to pay the phantom tax. Does that apply to me or? <laughs> then there's Pal World developer Pocket Pair, who has apparently taken their April Fool's joke from last year, a Pal World dating simulator set in a high school, and made it a reality. Pal World, more than just pals, is listed on Steam, promising players the ability to befriend the Pokemon-like pal creatures, uh, fall in love with them, or dismantle and eat them. Which is not gonna be good for your relationship. Pocket Pair's communications director explicitly denied that this is an April Fool's joke this time, and I kind of want Nintendo to win their lawsuit now. I also kind of want you to come back on Wednesday for more tech news. There's gonna be Switch 2 news and many other tech company April Fool's jokes that are somehow even worse than mine.